Another 1,000 masterpieces fairy tales puzzle completed here. And um, I just would like to um, show you. This is from Masterpieces and this was $12.99, but they were doing 40% off at Hobby Lobby. You have to check out um, the site for 40% uh, off because Hobby Lobby does not offer any uh, discount coupon. They have uh, totally um, eradicated that. They are no longer doing coupons. So you just have to watch out for the upcoming sale online. So this wasn't bad, uh, $13 less 40%. So I think this came up like $7 or $8, something like that. Anyway, this is my very first uh, classic fairy tale. So this is obviously from uh, the Beauty and the Beast. I have noticed that <coughs> Disney and Sicko are actually in collaboration when it comes to um, movie, Disney movie um, characters. And this is my very first time to see it on a masterpieces. No, normally, Disney is always with Seiko. And um, Seiko is not really, really very, very um, quality brand. However, it's acceptable. Okay, so let me just compare this uh, box <coughs> to that of a square Raven's Burger. Okay, so the box itself is uh, very thin and um not sturdy you can easily um easy, it will easily get squashed like this it's very very thin so if you're into preserving your <coughs> your puzzle pieces for the purpose of doing it again then that's uh, basically not going to be um a good point and um, I've had this my, I've had some masterpieces boxes that have been bent um, during storage and have been caught by the knob so it easily gets dented so that's one um, that's one point down and uh, it, it, this does come with a poster though <coughs> this this is the full size poster so it's actually uh, really really good because you can see um, clearly <clears throat> I'm just wondering why the quality of masterpieces is not um, is not consistent with uh, masterpiece the other masterpieces I have built like just the normal masterpieces they are um, pretty inferior inferior to this, but this one was really really good. It was really really good and um, As I have been telling you um, <clears throat> Again and again the best quality So far for me is masterpieces um, Easy grip you should try that guys because it even bits um, I would say Raven's burger puzzle I have had no issues with that. Anyway, so I, um, the reason I uh, decided to do this is that uh, I've never built a Disney character <clears throat> or a fairy tale. So um, yeah, that's the thing. So let me compare that <clears throat> to this squarish Raven's Burger. Okay, so they're basically same same height, but. Um, the Raven's Burger, of course, is thick linen finish and it's wider. <coughs> Sorry. It is like twice, twice um, wider than that of a fairy, uh, of the masterpieces. Now, um, I was surprised, guys. Um, this, the, <clears throat> this is from the edge and it's pretty, pretty thick. Very, very thick. And um, I think this um, Fairy Tales collection, I'm not sure, it's slightly bigger than the normal uh, masterpieces because I, I built another masterpieces before and the pieces were um, a bit tiny, except for the uh, Easy Grip, they would be um, really, really relatively bigger than the, any other, um, <coughs> any other uh, brand. Okay, so the one in the back, 
is the Masterpieces and this is Raven's Burger. They're both edges. You can see, sorry, they, they're almost the same thickness, the same thickness. If not, it's even thicker. And the problem with Raven's Burger, it's actually thick, but you can bend it. It's softer. This one, guys, Masterpieces, it's very, very thick, same thickness as Raven's Burger. You can, it's impossible to bend it. So, and I, there's no lifting issues. I have long nails, no lifting issues at all. So I would say this is even better than that of the Raven's Burger. Interlocking quality is okay. So there were, <clears throat> there were instances where <clears throat> um, I thought, um, some pieces would go into some piece would go into one place there were i think two um two incidents i thought that it was it but um it's not eventually you will figure it out that it's not interlocking quality is um is not as uh, good as their easy grip but uh, i was able to transfer uh like probably 15 without any 15 pieces without any uh problem so so this one now um let's look at the picture itself i always um like to um to build something that is inspiring or at least um, you know really really nice that's why i opted for this one i have to go through a lot a lot of puzzles i have more more undone puzzles than <laughs> done puzzles so uh yeah so as you can see i struggled with the chandelier uh with the um, sky not so much with the bluey bluish thing and not so much the first bit that i built was of course um the edges and then um the purple the beast and um bell and then after that, I actually started off here at the bottom. So these are, some of them are large, some of them are just tinier, but it's really, really, um, they have a standard cut. And I guess um, there's a difference in quality. Uh, if you compare all masterpieces, they have the masterpieces easy grip, that's the best they have the masterpieces just the masterpieces and it's um actually of inferior quality co compared to um this and they also have masterpieces colorscapes so i have yet to build that that's why i uh, did this video because it's entirely a different quality so um so i'm not sure what's going on so so maybe if it's from this collection the fairy tales collection the quality is um really good so it was uh, a pleasure to build this so i guess it took me five to six hours or less than that it took me only two sittings to finish this okay all right guys bye